They say the quarantine can bring anyone back, but there's no way I'm going back to making YouTube. Hey everyone, and welcome back to a long-awaited video about the only subject I've been able to cover in a few videos, actually, novel art. This one is going to be a little bit more scripted than usual because I'm trying out new things, kind of more along the lines of what Pets and Majuli's doing because it just sounds better. And so, without further ado, Novel R is a browser pet game that involves exploring, crafting, competing, breeding, and dress-up minigames. While not the most popular pet site on the scene, it certainly caught and kept my attention for a couple years, and I'm now pretty invested in its community. About two months ago, ownership switched hands from Digital to Terrace, our local ferret. Personally, I don't think there's been much in the way of better owners out of the two, but I can say that they're both approaching the game in very different ways, and terraces seem to step out in their big changes, rather than little ones. Possibly my favourite mechanism that was introduced, and just three days after the new management no less, was the change to crafting. Where once tools required a cooldown before being able to be used again, now they can be reused to your heart's delight. This makes crafting a whole lot more immediate, which is useful for daily quests handed out by the Guardians, hence it makes getting money from the Guardians simply so much easier. Shortly after this, contests sprouted up, and there was a small adjustment to the terms and services, which I'm sure all of us read through, and the prices were dropped for energy bars. Now, the energy bar one is one of the more interesting changes that I noticed within those first few days. The justification was that with the increased maximum explorations and consequently decreased item drop rates, the bars were costing way too much because they were kept at their original price. But I also think that maybe it signified something deeper, that Terrace was going to continue making big changes to the monetary value of items, to the economy itself. Without much delay after that, step regeneration was increased drastically from one to three steps, making people with the adventurer profession gain four steps every five minutes. This was huge in the way of gameplay. It increased the amount of times we could go back and explore, which meant an increase in the incoming cash, both from random encounters, from selling the resources you collect, and from selling the pets you collect, and their children. Another decrease in the value of a part of the economy. And finally, the openable items yield was increased. Along with this came an influx of items, and a rise in the quantity of gold earned from gold openables. In fact, it just about doubled. You could say that this made sense because of the lower drop rates from adventuring, which had occurred in Digital's outlook. But this was supposedly fixed with the increase in the step regeneration. So what is going on? And more importantly, what can we actually tell from all of this? Well, the game has certainly been made easier in the sense that we've got an increase in cash inflow, but cash outflow has remained pretty much exactly the same, or even lowered itself. So it's become easier to unlock benefits and purchase items, increase your territory slots. This has also opened up a greater trading system, because there are more players willing to spend money to acquire items rather than waiting for their exploration steps to painstakingly recharge. Personally, I think it's only been an improvement to the game, but I'm curious to see how it plays out as we progress further into the future. What about you? Do you play Novel R, and if so, what are your thoughts on the measures taken to increase this? I'd love to hear about it in the comment section. Thanks for watching this short little video, and stay safe out there.